Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Pneumaticraft Repressurized from Minecraft 115 and today it's drone time. So let's get started. As you can see the four things I want to build actually there's five. So let's the one I missed out was pro programming puzzle pieces. So let's start. So the first thing I'm going to build is one of these, a drone. Um, you see I've already got some of these. I've been trading drones, but I'm going to make one just for the sake of making one. And you can see all it is is four turbines with a printed circuit board in the middle. So let's craft up some of these. I think I've got enough materials. Five, I don't have quite enough for what I need. I need six. So I'll have to go and make some more turbine blades. Um, unless I've got some in the chest here. Let's have a quick look. No, I haven't. So the recipe for these is fairly straightforward gold and and how many do I need I need another three I think so one gold and two redstone so we're going to put those into the com I'll tell you what I'll go and put those into the compressor here and then come back in a second I need two more to make another turbine don't I so I'll be back in a second I need four of these so I've got those made so let's get started with this one. so a drone is simply this with one printed circuit boards. We've done all of that before, let's make a drone. You'll notice this drone has got zero pressure on it, but watch it, it will start to increase. And the reason it's increasing is because, it's actually fairly slow, is because of my armour. And if we go to my armour and have a look at it, we've got auto charging is set, actually is enabled. If I turn that off, it stops it charging stuff up in my inventory, which is probably okay for the time being, but I've got the aerial interface, so it makes no difference. And the more, um, charging modules I've got in the faster this will grow uh, will increase as well so the next thing we need to make is some GPS tools I should really make two of these here a GPS area tool and a GPS tool now these are fairly straightforward so I need a piece of glass and I need some a redstone torch I think I also need a, a dark piece of stained glass here for that one so we shall make those up and you need eight pieces of I think it's eight pieces yes that's right 16 so we can get 16 panes and eight panes around a, a, a black dye will give us black stained panes black stained glass paints even so that's what I need for that so the um so I didn't want to make everything up on that one so I was just going to use the glass paints in fact I've got these others in here press that of course I've got those in my inventory now so what I'll do with those is just put those away in here because I don't need any of those for the time being as far as I remember must be night time the drones are starting to become active again which means the mobs are about um, and I don't really care because I've got enough protection to carry on working it at night time now so the next thing is we would like to make two GPS tools and maybe even three what am I missing redstone torches um, redstone torches got two pieces of wood there redstone I need probably about I'll make 16 redstone torches because we're always using them for everything as it happens so, so we need some wood and not enough wood in there but uh, got some plenty of planks in there that's fine so 16 is I think two pieces of planks this gives me six eight two well, I had two already didn't I said so, that's the 16 so then we can make up the redstone uh, GPS tools like that I'm going to make three um, what I'm going to do with one of them is if you actually look at the uses of these we should put two together and we get the GPS area tools so let's make one of those I'm not going to use it to start with because I want to demonstrate how you use the GPS tool alone in, in the programmer which reminds me of next time we're going to make as a programmer so this is this one here so we need two t turbines and one thing what am I missing two red dyes two red dye and two pieces of plastic so two red dye are in here and two pieces of plastic are in here you may have noticed I've got five nether stars in there as well so I was making a few nether stars between episodes I also got an enderman seed and a gas seed when I was messing around as well uh, with flight, gas seeds have become very easy to do. Now, I want the programmer, don't I? And the Enderman seed is actually with flight was also very helpful for doing that as well. I was had no problem doing um, getting the Enderman. So I've got coding one hundred one hundred one as an achievement. Fantastic. 
So what else do we need in here? I think that's it. I got extra diamonds out. I've got purple dye. Yes. I'm going to color this drone purple. And you can then see, it. and it doesn't matter which way around. It doesn't look like it makes any difference until you actually take it out. And then you can have a look at it. In fact, if you, if you do slash dump NBT, you'll see on here it's actually should have uh, air. It tells you the air and it's got color 10. Okay, fine. You can see that just there, color 10. So now I'll have a quick sleep and I'll be back in a second. So the next the last thing to make was the programming puzzle pieces that you haven't done yet. These are sort of, sort of expensive, but we could actually buy, I bought a whole load of these. In fact, I bought two stacks from a village of trading. And they made it with simply plastic around a printed circuit board. We'll give eight uh, programming puzzle pieces. And we need quite a few. So I'll take the ones that I've been trading for emeralds out of here. I've got a stack and a bit of those. In fact, let's take them all out and get a chest. And you can put these beside the programmer in a chest. So you don't have to. I've got 26 chests in here. I was doing something with chests. So let's, let's put a little area down here. It will be fine. So I'm going to put the programmer here. like this and beside it I'm going to put a chest and in the chest I'm going to put the programming puzzle pieces like this so you can see what we've got to start with so now what I'm going to do for this program is I'm going to come along here well the drone's going to come along here and it's going to take out eight uh, wood essences and one coal essence and then it's going to craft those into a charcoal and then it's going to then take those and put them into this um, compressor here so what we're going to do first of all is we'll take the we'll use those two um, GPS tools in fact I can demonstrate them both can't I so it can for example with this one we'll use this one as an individual one so right shift right click it and then you can see this area is highlighted and it tells you on the tool where the position is on the other one we can use it on one complete area piece so what we'll do is we'll do this we use the area tool here and the one i want is this one so i'm going to left click it shift and right click it as well i think does that work so there you've got two points yes so holding down the shift left and right clicking gives you this area point here so now we've got the bits we need to make the program now what happens is let's have a look at this how am I going to, to dem demonstrate this the best way first of all we put the drone into the into here so this is the purple drone I've got in this one here we put it into here like this and then we'll call it we'll give it a name so this one's going to be um, it's going to be a supply drone for coal so we're going to call it a coal actually a charcoal supply drone and I think that's fine it doesn't we don't need to give it any other name like that so then we need to start programming the first thing you do is a start piece here and it says press I for info when you press I it opens the book up if you've got the book in your inventory and I haven't got the book in my inventory at the moment so let's just go and quickly get the book um, because that's fairly fairly quick if I click this off there and then we can then open the book up in the inventory when when we look at this piece and like this so now you can press i for this one and it takes you straight to the page now this is a basically it's a plc program uh, simulator what the drone programming is doing so what it does is it runs through the whole program continuously so the first thing we need to do is we need to start and then what we need to do is i want to like to put a condition in so the first thing I'm going to do is put a condition on here. This condition is going to ask how many, you see it's all in red. Now what the red means is it says I am, um, is an error. You see this, this had an error on it, now it, and now it doesn't. So it's got no area specified and no output label specified. Uh, so the third one here is optional. So we need an output label because this is where the conditions go to. Now the output labels are just text labels like this. And we need two of those, one one for each side, actually, a true and a false one. And I'm going to use both in this particular program. So what I'm going to say is here, this condition, we need some um, pieces. So here we've got an item filter piece. I'm going to have three of these. Out. Oops. If, you double, if you drop it around, it just drops off and drops like that. 
And what I'm going to put into these is charcoal. So I've got charcoal in my inventory. So this is the target. So let's have a look at right click this one and search inventory. And we can say charcoal like that. Um, so that's got charcoal in it. This one I'm going to put wood essence in it. So let's just search item for essence. And if I'm lucky, I should see a wood essence fairly near to the top. That one. Like that. And that puts that one in. And then the third one we're going to, we're going to put as uh, coal essence as the other one there. So let's have a look for coal essence. Let's spell it right. So we want this one. So those are the three items we're going to do. We, we do need to specify all of them. So what we're going to say is that in this one here, we're going to go to this inventory here. And this is the inventory for the, um, the compressor. So what I now need is a piece to say for the compressor. So we need to have a, a an area piece. And this is the area piece here. So let's take this area piece out in here like that and then right click it so position one if you select this you can select either of these tools and we know that that's going to be this one here like that press escape on it and do the same for this one plus click it and then do that and then you can see you can preview the area like this and we should be able to see this one over here as being highlighted uh don't do the wrong one <laughs> Did I right click this preview area? I can't see it being previewed. That's a bit strange. Never mind. We'll carry on for the time being. So then we have this. And what we're going to do with these two pieces here is we're going to call them fill and no fill. So this here I'm going to say fill is the condition I wanted, the text I wanted to do thing. And this one we'll just say idle. In other words, do nothing. And then these have to go to places. So all you need to do is middle click this and drag it across and that produces a replica of these two pieces like this. And they have to then be have jump pieces to those. So we want to jump to the pieces. I hope I'm doing this in a sensible way. So we've got this label here. So the label needs a, a piece against it like this. And then it's still got a problem because there's no piece to control to the bottom. And what we're going to do at the bottom is all we're going to do is a standby. This is a standby piece here, like this little sleep thing on it. It's the same as the standby that you put into the drones, except for this one's a puzzle piece, like that. So now, well, the condition here is what we want to say is we want to say it says up and down, and in fact, it's east or west. I'm not sure exactly from which perspective this one is, but what we're going to say is if it's got less than 52, why 52? We'll have a look at that in a second. Then that's that's the condition that I'd like to do. Any block is less than 52. There's only ever one block type in a compressor, so that's fine. And then it's going to, if it's false, it's going to go to idle. And if it's true, it's going to come over here. So let's bring those down a bit. Um, it's actually possible to even pre actually even program this now. So what I'd, to actually set it going, or very shortly, we want another one of these labels here like this. We want to put that one here no piece connected to the bottom that's good so this is the fill the fill side in other words the true side and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another programming piece here we're going to import from an inventory an item so here we've got import from inventory how i know all of this is i've done it before um, in case you're interested I'll, actually i need to do two of these because the first one i'd like to import are these uh, wood essences and I've got to say where I would like to do this. Now, what you can do with this is you can do, I think it's this one, I'm, I can't remember to be honest with you, but if we put it in here like that and just click it into it and it puts down the, the piece. In fact, it's not connected because it's still red, but now it's not. So this will import into here um, wood essence. And now what you can do here is you can actually also say it's either east or, east or west, and I'm going to put an item count here of eight. Because the recipe for charcoal is eight wood essence surrounded by uh no one charcoal essence surrounded by eight wood essence like this has this actually got highlighted as well let's just have a look at this one preview area so i should be able to see these two areas 
and it should be showing them up inside this and it doesn't look like they are doing from what I remember anyway we'll carry on so the next thing we need to do is import exactly do the same as this but I can drag this whole block down here like this and create a new one of these instead of having coal um, wood essence I'm going to use coal essence but I do want it from the same area so I might as well just do this like that drag it in so now we've got the, the materials in the drone that we need but it still has a problem we'll come to that in a second so the next thing we need to do is we oh by the way this is set to medium difficulty because you need conditions easy is without conditions if you look at this like this and I'm using conditions um, in fact I don't and hardly ever don't use it with conditions these, these programs you always need to do something except for very very simple programs but I could do a very very simple program but in this case I'm not going to so the next thing is here we want a crafting piece now like this now this crafting piece is has three sets of items it's basically it's a grid so what we need to do with this is I need to take one of these pieces down here like that and then replicate this to all of these three places like this and you see that actually produces jungle wood by the looks of it and then we can carry on doing this um, this time I want to put the coal one in the middle like this and all I'm doing is middle clicking this dragging and dragging middle clicking and when I bring this one down here we should then see 12 charcoal in here now 64 minus 12 is 52 so basically we're saying this will this recipe will produce 52 so you've got to have space in this inventory for 52 items and then the last thing we do with this if we come back here and we simply export this now the export they're all in they're all in roughly the same positions it imports blue and export is orange that's a relatively traditional color for minecraft oh that's the wrong one sorry that's fluids go back again in fact if you want to have it you can press tab and type in export and then you can see the different ones this is the one i want export to inventory so this is taking the items which are in the drone and exporting them to an inventory like this the inventory it's going to be exporting to them is this one I hope we've got this right we're around up 100% sure and then what we're going to be exporting is charcoal I don't need to specify this because the only thing in this drone will be charcoal and it's the only thing that can go in and that's it as far as I can remember and that's all we need to do so let's now program this drone by simply clicking this button here and it says I require 30 puzzle pieces. Well, you know I've got two, and two stacks and eight. No big. So now I'm a software engineer, great. <laughs> so it's not got very much pressure in it. It's probably got enough to start with. Like, let's put it down there. Press the escape. So now we've got the drone. So with a bit of luck, it should work. And I'm, but I'm not convinced it's going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable uh, the entity tracker in fact it's night time and I'm going to get attacked by all sorts of mob mobs coming from over here and over here and so on and so forth but the weapon all of these protections are going to keep it out of the way so I'm going to have a quick sleep back in a second before I program anything uh, set the drone off I think I've got this I did something wrong I don't understand it because uh, you see when I've got this in my hand here it shows you which point where the piece is highlighted I didn't see that before and the same with this one so let's go and I'm just going to quickly fix this program. Let's put the drone back into it. So this one here should be this position here. So all I'm going to do is click this again, right click it and select this one is going to be this position. Yeah, it changes it. So I've definitely got it wrong. <laughs> so let's press escape and do the same on this one. So that's the right position. So the ones I can get rid of, this is the one for the, hold on a second, this is the one for the, this is the one for the chest, isn't it? So I think that was right, actually. 149, 171. Oh, yes, that was wrong. <laughs> let's, let's put it back. Throw that away and bring this up here and click it into position again. And that should now be right. It hasn't joined in, as you can see. Get rid of those. Don't need those. Ones. Oh, yes, there's something weird going on there. There you go. So that's connected in. So that's 107, 149. This is 149. Ah, oh, so it is correct. Okay, good. I didn't do too much 
incorrectly. It's just that things are a bit strange when you do it like that. But I didn't reprogram the drone, and I'm pretty sure that the drone's programmed correctly anyway. So let's just be certain. Shift click that out. Let's put that down on the ground and see how it goes. So you see it's a purple drone and it's gone off over here. So look how much this has got in 62, so it shouldn't need to do anything. And now, ah yes, it's, <laughs> it's gone to charge itself up. Fantastic. So while that's charging up, let's enable debugging mode. So that's control and right bracket. Okay, so then you can come along here and enable this one by clicking on control and left bracket square bracket will actually enable this and you can see what it's doing now so if we now press control and U uh, did I do that wrong and did you filter no, da, da, da. control and U for debugger that's a look control and U I'm not seeing oh I'm not seeing enable auto of debugger drone debugger you have to select drone debugger so what it's saying here is it's going through this loop as you can see here so it's going starting here it's doing this condition saying that the condition is false and it should tell me that it's evaluated yes condition was evaluated to false so that comes down here idle so it just goes to sleep so when the drone is charged up we can chill, look at the drone see what the pressure is now 10 bar fantastic so it's now charged up all we have to do now is to start this process we can simply remove from here 12 pieces of charcoal so if i right click half of those out and then we come back to control and u you, you should see now it's going to pick up these en entities in here like this from this from this one and then it should have picked up the coal and it should have crafted it i didn't see it do that because it's got 64 pieces in here because i forgot to remove the charcoal charcoal from in here because <laughs> <clears throat> I've already been and that was also being provided by the logistics drone so now if I remove this out of here it should carry on with that program let's have a look control and you so now it's crafted as you can see it's going through this crafting loop coming back here and in fact it wants to go to this inventory here like this I'm just wondering ah yes that's the thing I didn't explain. Uh, is one thing I haven't done. The drone only has one inventory in it, so it cannot pick up the, the um, coal essence to complete this recipe. So what we have to do then is just simply run, so grab the drone and um, wrench the drone again, like that. And you'll see it's dropped all sorts. Of, I've got a few bits and pieces, 64 of these, because it kept on going through the loop. So right. Oh, wrong one let's just try that with something else uh lanterns get rid of the bits and pieces that are in my inventory that i don't need and then come and make a um inventory upgrade now i've got a few chests with me i think 25 yes and we need planks of wood and we need i'm going to make uh, two inventory upgrades so we need eight planks of wood and we need um I think I should have 12 upgrade matrixes in here. So I could actually do three as it happens. Let's just do three. Because they don't hurt having extra inventory upgrades. So we can have a look at the uses of the chest. There's a lot of uses of the chest. So we'll have a look at the, the uses of the matrix. And we should find the inventory one. And I think it's on page four, five. Here we go, yes. So it's the upgrade matrix is all lapis with birch, with planks of any type, and a chest in the middle shift click that and I should be able to get three of those so now we can simply put those into the drone so let's take the drone and right click it on here shift click the drone into that I think that's the right drone thinking about it I'm not 100% sure <laughs> um, no it's the wrong drone you can see this one's actually got the program written contents written in it so we'll remove that one I don't want to put the inventory pieces into the wrong drone. You see, this one's got nothing, and this one's got the bits. So we can shift click that one into there. And then we can put in the inventory upgrades. It actually only needs, I think it only needs one. Because as soon as it crafts, it's going to just use the other inventory slot. And I don't think it uses the temp, a temporary inventory slot for doing that. So let's just try it again. So this time we can put it down. 
Um, what I'd like to do is to prevent it from moving until I put it down. That was the speed of the of the um, flippers, by the way. So let's come along here, and what I want to do is I want to just put in here, fill it up with charcoal, so it's not going to do anything, and then put the drone down. Like this. And then you see it's gone to sleep. So now we can uh, enable the debugging on this one. So that was Control and Left, and then we can take out of here half of that. And then it goes and does its work. So while it's doing that, I'll have a look at the program. So now it's going to get the from here eight pieces it says here gone down here and it's coming over here it should be coming over here ah oh, maybe I do need a second inventory piece into it where's it actually gone to oh it's still over there so right so we do need a second inventory slot for the charcoal it's actually got the no, it's got charcoal. You can see it's holding charcoal. So why is it not going back into this chest? Into the inventory, which is the compressor. I don't see. 32, it should have done. Let's have a look at... Ah, I think I do know the problem. Let's just check the program here. It's always important to check the programs. up this is the problem here is the export to inventory is up and it needs to be a different it needs to be left uh, east or west and i'm telling you what i'm trying to say the drone will come along here like this and it will take the items from this inventory if i turn on my minimap like that you can see that this direction is west in fact the drone needs to be pay taking this out of the east side because it's the perspective of the drone. I find that confusing, but it's that perspective. Um, so it's the opposite of what you basically think. So let's just break this drone again. So this time it's picked up, what do we pick up? 64 essence here and um, charcoal. Let's just right click those away so we can get rid of those. That my inventory is a bit full so let's just correct this program here like this and all we have to do to correct it is click this right click this piece and say it's actually it was actually the west side but if I'm unsure I just do west and east like this but I'm pretty sure it's the west side yes I'm pretty sure it's the west side so now we need to put the drone back into the into the programmer and in fact it should tell me the name called supply drone on here this one should be just drone as well that's another trick for you i'll be back in a second i'm going to clear out my inventory because i think it's a bit on the full side the reason i cleaned up my inventory is, uh, is basically just program this in it's just to make sure that i've not got anything f funny going on in here so again i want to come over here and make sure it's not got so again enable the debugger basically there is another way to enable the debugger and we'll cover that possibly this time if we've got time I'll fill this up again and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put on to this the drone and the drone shouldn't do anything I mean, right click it down there but which gives us enough time to enable the debugger on this one control and left mm -hmm. to debug it there we go it has to be charged up before you can do that so now we'll just take out of here the coal let's just move this other drone out of the way and take out of here the, half the coal in fact if I take out 12 pieces it, 59, 56, 50. When I take this one out, it's going to go and do something. And there it goes. Let's have a look at the program now. So it's collecting from the inventory. It should take the next inventory and it's coming back over here. As you can see, it's just there like that. And then it'll put it into here. We've got 63 pieces and it should go to sleep again. So let's have a look at that. So now it's asleep again. So that is working just as expected and you'll notice here I've got a lot of other things highlighted all the drones and these are mobs oh salmon just they are mobs actually salmon down there is it 5.2 meters um, all sorts of things are going along here and you can change this so for example let's have a look so if we go open up here and we go to the entity tracker here 
and you've got an entity filter so you can say in here drone and press escape and that will only then hide these have disappeared you see there's someone down here which you can now see <laughs> have gone this one should actually it's not showing me any of the drones in here is it but it's showing me the effect of one of these drones doing stuff with the yellow dots and that's the air the working area of the um, harvesting drone and the uh, yeah I think that's the working of the harvest harvesting drone actually so I must have typed in filter mode drone so let's just change that so this one is actually called a coal supply drone with two eyes in it if I must type that let's just uh, let's double check it and that had some coalescence in it oh yes I think I might have made a mistake with that one actually thinking about it let's come along here coalescence let's have a look at that oh uh, yes eight I only want one coalescence to be imported okay that's a good that's a good find didn't not want it to keep importing more of these um, and the supply chest west that was correct so that's the right side this is the it's over that direction so it's this direction and it's it says east so it's the direction from the other side very confusing that I have to be honest with you so let's get rid of these again and I've actually forgotten what I was going to do hold on a second oh, yes that's right I wanted to check the name of the drone in here there is a spare II drone in here that's not what I want to do I want it to be coal su supply drone let's actually type the I by itself okay and then we can program it like this and then we can set the put this drone down here to take it out no I didn't take it out did I what I'm trying to demonstrate now is the coal supply drone here like this is the entity tracker and how that works so coal supply drone is doing nothing because it doesn't need to do anything because of the fuel so, so now let's go and have a look at the entity tracker control and U entity tracker so if I now type in the word drone, that should be enough. Now you can see it's acquiring this particular drone. All the other ones are not being acquired. So as you can see, we can just do that one drone. Another one of those, let's go back to this and just say star drone. It's case independent, so we don't need to worry about this. So for example, if we want to see all drones, we just do star drone. Press escape, and then now you see it's highlighting all of the different drones that you can see in the area. Like this. And there's a lot more entities that you can actually you'd be surprised what entities are, are available to be looked at through the um, entity tracker. You can even do item frames. So these item frames in here can also be seen. So for example, Let's have a look at doing that one just for the sake of it. Let's clear this off again. You'll see now it's stop spamming, but it's got here, it's acquiring these two targets. You can see. <laughs> so this one says it's got um, a mystical agriculture book rotate, rotated at 45 degrees. And this is just an empty frame like this. So what we can do is put, some, put the book back into this one here like this. I'm a bit far away, I need to be a bit closer like that and then it should start to oops it should detect this one as well as the item frame it's also detecting this item frame but it hasn't actually detected this one yet um i thought it would have done oh yeah no it's telling me look it's got pcr manual in here this one's got mr Gag agriculture that tells you how far away they are so you can very very useful tool um that tells you how far things away and you'll if drone mobs start to attack you, it tells you which ones are going to start attacking you. It doesn't tell you where they're from. It might give you the position, but that's hard to sort of visualize. So this entity tracker is very, very powerful indeed. Now, just before I go today, you can use it for all sorts of items as well. Look, this collector drone here. If I want to see what this collector drone, the program for this collector drone is, I can do that too. Um, I just got to wait for it to settle down a bit. And then we'll press Control and left bracket on it, so it's in debugging mode. And then press Control U, and we can see what it's doing. Let's have a drone debugger here. It's actually got a whole lot of notes. It's got pickup items, 
export to an inventory, uh, go to sleep. And then it's got this wait, and it's waiting two seconds before it does it again. Now that possibly means you can actually do other smart stuff with that. So what we could possibly do with this, actually let's have a look at another collector drone. I've got, I've got collector drones in this chest here. I've got, got, got quite, sorry, I've got quite a few. Let's just take this one out of here like this and put this into the charging station. And you'll see it's got speed upgrades. And you're allowed to put 10 speed upgrades. So that's going to increase the speed. Um, the upgrade inserted movement speed of the drone is increased by 10% for the basic speed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try it and see if it does go faster when we look at the particular drone. So well, that's, but I'm not going to do that today because we've got all these other things in here. Um, I know that the um, guard drone's got 10% weight, so I'm just not sure if I increase, put speed upgrades in there, how they change that program. Anyway, we'll see. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been quite it's quite involved the programming, but it's actually very simple to do once you've got the ideas. So today was the first program. Next time maybe we'll do the wither grind the wither with a program. Or maybe I'm going to go off to the end to get there to find an end city in order to be able to upgrade the uh, jet boots to tier five. So until then I wish you all the best. Bye for now.